welcome guys now uh, in today's episode i want us to look at kcse 2020 uh, question two the question that deals with desktop publishing now i want us to go direct and start reading the question City planner intend to use a desktop publishing program to draw a plan for a section of a city. Assume you have been given the task. Part A, Roman 1. Open a desktop publishing program and set the page layout orientation to portrait and paper size to A4. Now we'll do that very fast uh, uh, to set portrait orientation. Just come here, page setup, orientation, and then you choose portrait. Now to choose the size A4, you can do it here, or you can come here to page setup and uh, choose the target paper to be A4. Good. Now we are good to go. Now go back to the question paper and uh, save it the way we've been told to save it in Roman 2 here. Save the publication as task to do exactly that. Go to save as file, save as, save as dialog box opens, says be patient, and there it is, I'll change the file name to task 2. Good, and now let's create a folder on the desktop to place our file and we'll call it KCSE uh, 2020 paper 2 com question 2. Good, so we are pressing enter to update the name of the folder. Let's give it time. There it is. We double click on the folder. Yeah, now it means we are going to save on the look at the file path here, desktop. And inside that folder, this file is going to go inside the folder there. Thank you. We save. Good. Next for next place, let's check again. Uh, create the city plan as it appears in Figure Two, ensuring that the design covers the entire printable area of the page. So it must cover the printable area. Now the printable area is the area that is bounded by this margin and by this line there. Okay, so we'll uh, pass on to open this. You can see we have a rectangular frame. So maybe we start by placing the frame here. Insert uh, shape. We'll insert shape. Insert. Shutter. Insert tab and then shape. We go to rectangle. So you choose a rectangle. A rectangle that covers the entire printable area. Good. Now, because the outline is a bit thick, the other side will do the same here. Shape outline black, and then we come to weight, make it a bit thicker. Good. Looks good now. Let's make it a hundred percent so that we can see the actual page. Good. So that is the actual thing. Uh, we can see all this. Now the first thing, there is a river Popo and there is a Popo Street. First, first street and uh, there is a County Street. There is County Street. So let's, do, let's draw those streets, all the streets and the rivers possible. 
Good, so let's begin by, let's begin by drawing the purple street, the longest, of course, from top to bottom, almost to the left hand side of the page. So, it takes almost three quarters of the side. So, let's just, okay, let's see the whole page, let's reduce the magnitude. Good. I can see the old page, and uh, uh, okay. So you can see the old page. Just insert. I'm going to shapes. I'm going to use a curve for this. And before we draw a curve, let's put insert. I'm going to shapes. I'm going to use a curve for this. And before we draw a curve, let's put, let's draw this, this linear, or that is almost at the center. So let's turn this roundabout. This is this roundabout junction. This junction here. So let's use a circle for that. So just bring it here. And somewhere almost at the middle of the page. Circle, circle. Um, a circle. Let's try check. Uh, the circle is on both sides. So there are two ways you can draw the straight. You can uh, insert. Uh, you can have a, a curve like this, and then close the. There's a Bring back the curve again. The curve again. You can have a curve. Let's say. If, okay. So. Okay. Now what I am going to do. Let me delete this. Let me. Uh, let us see. How it looks like. Bend that. Also side by side, so that we can see how this thing looks as we draw. So you can see how it is curved. So I'm going to insert, pick a curve, shape, pick a curve, and then starting from near the top. I'm going to hold down my left right one. It comes like this. Just like this, so I'll hit once to make it count a bit, and uh, yeah. uh, I don't think it should be like this. This is not doesn't look nice. Let me see if I can twist. Ah, it doesn't work that way. Let me insert again. That. And let's this time around, let's begin from here and let's go. Okay, so let's hit it, click once to make it curve like that. Click again, make it as I was curve. Now, here it is straight, so I'll bring it straight. Till it attaches itself to this. Okay, so either we can leave it at that point. Uh, yeah, let's leave it. Let's have it like that. So there is one way uh, that you may not know about. Now you can click this and then increase the weight. Yeah. See, there was six. Our so six is very narrow. So we don't want six. Let's go to more lines and then, yeah, we increase this from 0 0.75 points to around seven points. 
7.5. Let's see what how that will look. Still very small. Okay. Look there. Let's just go to outline width and then more lines. And uh, now let's increase this to 20. Then this to 20. And to 20. Uh, yeah, okay. This is a bit better. 20 is a bit better. So let's check this one again. And uh, let's check this again. It is big. I know it is big. Almost double that. So all double this. So let's double. Let's go back to our weight. More lines. And then let's now double this point. Let's type 40. And then press enter. See how it looks now. Yeah. 